Week two of Apocalypse Dress Rehearsal, folks. Let's hear it from the Never Knew My Apartment Could Get So Dirty people. Uh, and now just the Never Knew My Apartment Could Get So Clean people. All right. Anyway, since the theaters are still closed and thus our new release selection is somewhat limited, let's look at this barely promoted new Netflix release from Mark Wahlberg and his apparently favorite director, Peter Berg. Sure. Now look guys, in my line of work you find yourself asking who asked for this and who is this even for a lot, but rarely does it apply like it does to Spencer Confidential, a brazenly generic private eye programmer based on Robert P. Parker's Spencer novels, or rather one of the ones by the anointed successor after Parker's passing, that adapts the loosest possible outline of its source story, barely resembles even superficially Parker's work or any prior version of the franchise, and apparently exists exclusively on the premise of Spencer being by far the most famous fictional detective character like this who supposed to hail from Boston, and Mark Wahlberg also being from Boston. And in case you're wondering just how hard and how often this thing was planning to hit the Because Boston button, within five minutes, Mark Wahlberg has had a wistful conversation about Fenway Park, a flashback to a loud and angry, classy but not classy blonde yelling at him while hurling his belongings off the top deck of a three-story tenement house, and gotten into a fist fight set to a song by Boston, The Band. Yeah. Fight scene number two, incidentally, takes place in a cop bar and set to Sweet Caroline, and if I told you that two separate scenes not very far apart from one another involve visiting two different MMA gyms as backgrounds for two different expository conversations, or that Wahlberg's love interest shouts, Go Socks, during sexual climax, would you doubt me? Because that's all stuff that happens in this. Sure, like every other Boston dipshit, I'm required to note that it is kind of nifty to see a bunch of this movie take place literally in my neighborhood and down the street, but otherwise, geez, Mark, if you wanted to show love to the hometown, maybe you could have let us not have to watch a shitty movie the same month we lost Brady. <sighs> Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Anyway, the Spencer books, or Spencer for Hire TV show, which I feel like more people might be familiar with than the brand, are hard-boiled crime fiction about an ex-cop PI who's too honest to not get sucked into vigilante justice and confidential styles itself into an origin story that chunks everything about it except for the Boston setting and a few character names. Wahlberg's Spencer is a former beat cop whose aspirations of making detective were cut short when he went to jail for beating the shit out of a superior officer he suspected was dirty, and upon his five years later release, he immediately finds himself drawn to investigate and clear the posthumous name of another fellow too good for his own good cop, which in turn uncovers a whole conspiracy of dirty cops connected to his own situation, and he aims to take them down with help from Alan Arkin as his old friend, and Winston Duke as a fellow ex-con with his own driven sense of justice. So you get boring banter, bad comedy, dull fight scenes, duller chase scenes, a bizarre recurring motif about Spencer being super old-fashioned, analog, and not understanding modern things like oat milk or cloud storage or computer because he was in jail, but he, he was only in there for like five years and it takes place in the present, so why does the film want to treat it like he's Captain America fresh out of the goddamn ice? I don't know. The only plus I can find is that Eliza Schlesinger as Spencer's nominal love interest is actually doing a bang-up job of rendering exactly the kind of mouthy Boston-born gal all of this stay inside, don't go out to bars for a while shit has me missing already. So call this one a 3 out of 10, one you can skip. 